lithium iron phosphate batteries. So these modules came from eBay. They are from BAE Systems and they use A123 lithium iron phosphate cells. These units are extremely well built, rugged, waterproof from what we read. Here we're removing some of the screw exposure points so we can remove the BMS module. These modules are made from lithium iron phosphate cells in a 12S configuration. They are, as configured, 36 volt packs. You can use them as is, but lithium iron phosphate has a huge advantage in that you can use them natively in a 12 volt system, unlike their lithium iron counterparts. We are going to be breaking this module down into three separate individual 12 volt batteries, 4S each. Here we are measuring the individual cell groups and their corresponding voltage. Their nominal voltage is 3.3. Their maximum charge voltage is 3.6 volts DC per cell. Carefully remove the screws that hold the BMS module to the housing. There are two temperature sensors on the battery module. Carefully remove those from the board. Peel back the protective layer to expose the cells. The batteries are enclosed with two plastic housings. The housings are held together by Phillips screws. Remove Phillips screws. This portion was a little difficult. The plastic housing doesn't want to remove freely. You have to work it back and forth while slowly prying away to remove it. Be careful not to crack the plastic. Using an insulated tool or some sort of plastic thing would be advised as these are very hydrating cells. Here we have to carefully mark and partition our cells into 12 volt chunks. There are 8 cells in parallel and you have to get 4 in series.
Here we have a 12 volt slab. This was definitely one of the more critical portions of the disassembly. This bus bar is extremely robust. Watching multiple other uh, attempts from other people, YouTubers and forum members, uh, Dremel seems like it was the best way to go. It allows for a clean cut and really minimizes the potential, I think, for shorting stuff out. Uh, in any case, this portion should be done with extreme care. Make sure all of the connections are free from each other, flip the module, and proceed to make your final cuts on the non-conductive side. At this stage, you have successfully removed a 12 volt portion. Repeat steps until you have three separate 12 volt batteries. The next step is to test each battery. Stay tuned for part two, where we review the spec sheet, do a capacity test, a cost analysis, and a performance test of the battery to see how it performs under load and in various conditions. We are most likely going to be using this with 12 volt accessories, either an off-road automotive, ham radio, and other various cool items that we might want to have a lithium battery for. Thank you for watching and smash that subscribe button.